This is the My 9 78th Annual Greek Independence Day Parade. Greece, a storied land that is rightly known as the cradle of civilization and the birthplace of democracy. This year, the Greek Independence Day Parade commemorates the 188th anniversary of Greek independence from Ottoman rule, tyranny, and oppression. It honors the Greek forefathers who valiantly sacrificed their lives to preserve the ideals of freedom and democracy. The parade's theme this year is One People, 9,000 Years of History and Culture. Join us today on Fifth Avenue as My9 presents the 78th Annual Greek Independence Day Parade, a celebration of this glorious land and her people. Unto you, Christos Anesti, as we say, Christos Anesti, Kronia Bola. Good afternoon. I'm Ernie Anastas, along with Rosanna Scotto and Yasu. Yasu. <laughs> you learned your Greek well, I am Rosanna. Learning. We have had some amazing people here today. Look, Mayor Bloomberg yes, is a very walking warm the parade route, and he's taking it slow. It's only 89 degrees outside. That's Ernie. right. He's along with State Senator Dean Skellis and marching bands. We've got 46 colorful floats today. What a beautiful turnout. What a gorgeous day to celebrate the Greek Independence Day. Val Thousands of people are lining the street, and I love all the costumes. Look, look at, at this that young, yes, young yeah, boy. Is he not sweet? He's, he's wearing the traditional F-Zone outfit, which is really very colorful, and, and I wore that as a, as a child you did? myself. I thought you have to be six feet tall to be <laughs> no, in that. No, no, that's the military. <laughs> oh, okay. But you can wear that just for tradition. You know, tradition. I'm learning a lot. This is my third year back here with the Three Green Parade. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's a pleasure me. to have you. I feel privileged to be here today and to honor your beautiful Greek uh, heritage. Scottanopolis today, my dear. That's I'm ready. You are. I'm ready. ready for it. And I'm ready for my baklava. <laughs> You're going to have plenty of that because okay, we have a lot good. of pastries. This is a very special day because, you know, we are honoring so much of our tradition and heritage. And we have a number of floats here. We'll be telling you about them and so many different communities from around the tri state area, all the various churches, the priests, the young children who are here all being part of this wonderful parade, and it couldn't be a better day for it. Well, can we say who the Grand Marshal is? Uh, let me Not see. Tie a yellow ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> all our favorite songs bringing back great memories. Tony Orlando is the Grand Marshal. He Hello. Is Hi, everybody. Nice we're to see you. Waving to all the great crowds. What Nick Gregory is day. out there, too, joining us today. So we're going to go to Nick right now and see what things are happening on Fifth Avenue. Nick. Yasu, uh, Nick. Yasu, Yasu. Yasu, Ernie, and Rosanna. Great to see you guys and to be a part of another wonderful Greek Independence Day Parade here in New York City. And, uh, you know, what a day. I mean, sunshine, maybe it's a little on the hot side. You know, the new temperature now is 91 here in Midtown. But I, I thought I'd just sort of give you the flavor of what Greece is like come about middle to the end of June. All right, so this is what you'd see in Greece. At least the humidity is low, so it's comfortably warm out here today on Fifth Avenue. Great turnout. We got, of course, lots of marchers and floats coming by. And it reminds me of my youth. I actually marched in this parade. I started marching in this parade when I was seven years old, when my father was the Greek Orthodox priest in uh, at Holy Cross Church in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. So lots of memories for me and my family coming out here to celebrate the uh, Greek independence and our Greek American heritage as well. So we hope you'll stick around with us, and we're going to have a wonderful time, lots of events coming up, and some special guests as well. One of our uh, special guests here today is Giovanna Deerpick, who's covering the parade with us. Hi, Giovanna. Hey, Nick. Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh. What an amazing day. It is so beautiful out here. And I am here on the street where it is amazing. Listen to this. Get a load of this. Listen to these marchers and this band. This is just a small sampling of the great variety of Greek culture, music, and everything exciting about Greece that we're going to be bringing to you. Now, I have to say, this is my first Greek parade, so I'm going to experience all these sights and sounds just like some of you. But I'll tell you what, some of these folks here, here on this other side that I've been talking to, they came here one, two, three hours early because they were not about to miss all of the action and excitement. And they tell me some of them that they've been here 10 years, 15 years, 20 years running, and they keep coming back. Because this is a day where we celebrate being American, being Greek, just being together here in New York City. Now again, since this is my first Greek parade, I was trying to get a few pointers from Ernie. He told me to say Yasu, which apparently means cheers. So I say Yasu, go guys. 
Yasu is right, Giovanna. You learned it well. What do you think, Rosanna? She said it very well. Yasu. I am very just. Now look who's marching in the parade. Yeah. Our parade chairman, John Katsimatidis, the CEO of Red Apple Group. And also being joined by uh, Archbishop Demetrius of America. And we also have Congressman, uh, Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney has been with us. And Councilman Peter Vallone, Jr. We did see Michael Bloomberg earlier, Senator Chuck Schumer, and so many other people who are out here. Yes, in fact, our uh, city controller, Bill Thompson, is also in the house. In fact, we may speak with him later coming as well. Well, we can hear the music in the background as the floats pass by. There are so many various communities here, and they'll be all participating today. We also are going to be telling you about some of the special guests and live performances. American Idol's uh, Constantine will be here. We have special messages by Nina Vardalos. Oh, from fantastic. My Big Fat Group And wedding. tell us about that young woman who we're going to talk to coming up. Uh, she's, she was born here, but she's a singing sensation in Greece. Well, she's going to be a real surprise. Uh, uh, we're not allowed to say anything? We, we want to keep Oops. this. Because, no, 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 no. She really Sorry. is terrific. She, she sort of won the American Idol contest in Greece. She's from Long Island. All right, so we're not going to say anything more. Well, I'll give you a little tip. It's kind of like good day, like you right. know about Calimera. Good morning, good oh, afternoon. Okay. That's All a right. great day. We don't want to be here. We don't want to give away too much, but we're going to have so many dignitaries, so many people that you're going to want to hear from. And we are celebrating Greek heritage and pride right here on the streets of New York City. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Yasu. This portion of the Greek Independence Day Parade is brought to you by the John and Margo Katsimatidis Foundation. Refining every detail. Combining old world with modern luxury. Terrace on the Park, where an exclusive feel meets unparalleled grandeur. Visit us online at terraceonthepark.com. And today we are celebrating Greek Independence Day, as you can see, about after 400 years of rule by the Ottoman Empire. Greece declared its independence on March 25th of 1821, and the annual Greek American Independence Day parade is held on the closest Sunday to March the 25th, except during the lentil season right now, during a very important celebration that we all have here in New York. And this is our third broadcast, and we're very happy that we're part of this on Fifth Avenue. And we also have a very special guest, Rosanna. John Katsimatidis, the parade chairman, CEO of the Apple Red Apple Group, and also you own and operate the Hellenic Times newspaper, right? In my spare time. Congratulations, John. Good to have you with Thank us. Thank you. We have a fabulous day today. Yes, it is. It's, it's hot, but it's nice. It's hot, but it's nice. <laughs> we got um, uh, Tony Orlando will be coming on the float uh, soon, and he told me before that uh, his Greek father is looking upon Fifth Avenue and is so, is so proud of him. Aww. And he had tears in his eyes, and I'm looking forward to seeing him go up to Fifth Avenue on the float. We have many other floats, many bands, but it's all about, you know, Ernie, we're all Americans, but today we celebrate our forefathers, our grandfathers, our, our fathers, and their heritage. Absolutely. John, tell me why this is so important to your family, to your children, to keep this tradition alive. Because Greece was the center of democracy, and like I said, Today is a day they respect their grandfathers and their fathers, and they show respect by marching to their ideals. And I also think that it's so important, that we've talked about this before, that, that we pass along all of this to our children and future generations, and that's why we're here today. And you can see all of the families with the children smiling and waving their flags. That's very significant. It is so important that we you know, keep our heritage make our kids proud. Number one, they're Americans, but number two, they do have a heritage. Now, your family is actually in the parade today. Where can we yes, see them? Yes, they're one of the floats. They're, they're one of the floats? Time floats. 
That's wonderful. Usually your daughter dresses as some beautiful goddess. Is she dressed today? She's dressed pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful family. You know, the other thing, too, that we point out, that we are in New York City. This is the great melting pot. And we're talking about Greek-American pride, but we also know the, the number of cultures that are represented uh, in this city. And, and everybody participates in some form when there is a celebration of this type. We have, what, 186 heritage groups in the city, mm. ethnic groups, and it's, it's, it's important that we remember where we came from. Well, now, John, you were born in Greece, right? I was born in Greece, but I was very lucky I got, came here six months old. Oh, you were six months when you yeah. came here. So obviously you, you, you took on the English language pretty I took on the English language, and uh, my grandfathers came to Ellis Island in 1911 and 1913. But they had left my father in the old country to make sure the sisters get married. <laughs> one of the all things, family responsibilities. Yes, and among other things, one of the things you do, John, is you really give back in so many ways. The Police Athletic League and so many different organizations. But I just you also, want to say, look at Senator Schumer. There he, he is. is working the crowds. <laughs> John, did you give him that bullhorn? I. Uh, <laughs> you well, may have to take. Second him. time he's marching. You marched with me the first time. He That's went so around the block and came back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you better take that bullhorn away from him, John. He's, John, we were he's talking, paying a lot of attention. Yeah, we were talking about, you know, giving back, and you do so much for young people as well. You have a Hellenic Times scholarship fund, and you have another event going on this year. You give away, what was it, how, how much money have you given out to various students? Uh, we've given out uh, a few million dollars In already. scholarship funds. And uh, you were there when we first started it, like, what was it, 17 years ago? It sure was. Wow. 17 years goes fast. And your, you? your, your scholarship dinner is coming up in two weeks, May, May 16th. 16th. And who are some of the performers? I think you, the tram. Yeah, great group. Uh, who else? I forget. You have like a whole star. Tony Orlando. Tony, uh, Tony Orlando is going to be here today. Right. But okay. He won't be the scholarship. But I, I heard it's. A, are there tickets still available for the there scholarship? There are tickets always available. Beautiful. John Katsimatidis, it's always wonderful to Thank be you. a part of this fabulous day. Thank you. John. Thank you so much Thank for inviting me. Thank you for being me. great today. I, I, I feel it in my heart. <laughs> and so. And wearing blue. That's right. Those are the colors. Thank you very much, John and Margot Katsimatidis, who really are treasures in this city, who do so much for us. We're celebrating a, a terrific day here. This is the HEPA organization, one of the oldest groups uh, in the United States. And uh, they do so many various things to help uh, the needy and also participate in various fundraising events. They're waving that beautiful Greek-American, or the Greek flag, I should say. You know, everything becomes Greek-American. Absolutely. Think when, we, when we start talking about our heritage, we always know that we are American here we love our country but we also are respecting our uh, heritage that's right and our, our background culture. where we came from well you know so many people travel too you know you talk about greece being a, a real hot spot it's such an important part of of greece the the tradition of families returning many times to greece to stay in touch with those customs uh, learning more about their heritage and passing it along and uh, you can see a lot of the young families so that nice are out to here see you. All right. Hi there. How are you? Everybody is having a wonderful time today. I'm just surprised some of these men didn't take off their jackets yet. It's very hot. It's night. It is it's almost 90 degrees. degrees out here. But you know, they're all kind of walking by and, and and waving to us. There are so many various floats, and we're going to be talking about so many of them today as they pass by us. As we we mentioned before too, that there are a number of floats uh, mm -hmm. that are here and who are participating. The Messinian, for example, of the region of Southeast Greece, known for its fertile soil. They pass by. How are you? We also have the Holy Trinity Church of New Rochelle, and we saw Father uh, Nick Antle, who was here yes. earlier, and the Stuyvesant High School Greek Club. There are a lot of Greek clubs in New York, a lot Effect of Greek schools. <laughs> My uh, neighbors, Chris. I just saw him go by too. He was walking by uh, with his school, and I, I. Why am I like forgetting the name of his school? Well, you know, you know, you're from Brooklyn, too. Rosanna. We yes. haven't forgotten about that. Look at that beautiful picture of the Greek flag. We were talking about the Hellenic communities of Brooklyn and Staten Island, who are also participating in this event today. We you know what I really be, uh, enjoy? I love all the colorful costumes. And you I know. want to know more about them. We're going to have a young girl coming up who's going to describe her costume, what yeah. it means to her. She Nicole knows a lot. Nicole will be joining us. She's yes. beautifully dressed. Great. And uh, we also want to go to Nick uh, Gregory right now, who is with the man. We talked about Chuck Schumer. Oh, yes. yes. He's Senator with him right He's right here Working standing here next to me. Next. Yeah, marching up Fifth Avenue. It's good to see you. Senator Nick. Schumer, welcome. Zito Elata. All right. Long live the Greek people, the Greek culture.
And let's have more Greeks come to New York, because the more Greeks there are in New York, the better New York is. Well, I'd like to say I agree with that totally as well. It was great You're to wonderful. have you stop by. Well, thank you so much, and you. continue marching proudly with the group here today. Great parade. Have thank a great day. You. Good to see you, buddy. You. Take care. Thanks. Senator Schumer. Ernie Rosanna? All right, thank you, Nick. Uh, Rosanna, we were talking about your, your area of Brooklyn, yes. and they are participating today. There are so many Hellenic communities of Brooklyn and Staten Island. The Mother Cabrini Drum Corps, they're just a great group, and we heard them pass by, and they have a lot of history there, and this is uh, membership of the Corps is a real honor. And we know that this is the kind of thing that takes a lot of commitment and dedication and lots of hard work from the regular people who are part of these uh, Drum Corps. Now, tell me about this... Uh man on the uh, horse here. You know, this is a uh, the, the traditional F zones, and and we talked about them earlier. About yeah, the, the Greek Presidential Guard, yeah, right? This is these are the, the the people who are, are well represented here today. They wear the F zone, and I wore that as a child as you well. You did? Now I thought that there were marching soldiers. They perform a combination of traditional dance and military marching. But there's a prerequisite too. They have to be six feet tall. Six feet tall. That's so. What do they do? They take out the tape measure and, and measure yeah. them before they're yeah, allowed to are, be part of this group. Th this is this is part of what they do to make sure that. They, they have that, that regiment. But they have, a, uh, they have an organization that, uh, you know, has is, is been a long tradition in, in Greek heritage. And this gentleman comes to the parade every year, rides on that horse, waves to all the young families. They're, Hi. Uh, they're, oh, this guy is in the parade every year. He's a real character. Yes, he What's is. What's his name? He's, he's a regular. Oh, he's so funny. If he stops by here, we'll talk to him a little bit. He Maybe is Nick Gregory. hysterical. Yasu, now, how are you? Now, supposedly this one. <laughs> how Ernie, are you? Nice to see you? you. Now, supposedly they have 300 foals in their skirt, right? And that's supposed to represent one for each year that Turkey occupied Greece. Yes. Uh, as we say, there's always some significance and symbolism in everything they do. And what well, I love back. about this parade, too, Ernie, is that not only are you represented here in the city, in the boroughs, but people come from far and wide to be a part of this, whether you're watching it on the sidelines or whether you're walking up Fifth Avenue. It's quite a day. Well, you know, there, there's a lot of preparation for this because it does become sort of a family day where all of these young people come out with their families. We're going to take a short break. We have more pictures, more action from the Greek Independence Day Parade. We'll be right back. Yes, sir. So what Greek American wouldn't know something about the 25th of March um, or wouldn't have some kind of skeletons in the closet about, oh, the play that maybe they were dressed in a toga and had to say, uh, yes, that was my part in the last, I think, Greek uh, Independence Day uh, play that I did at Greek school. Um, Seriously, it's such an incredible day, an amazing day in history. I believe the incredible country that we live in, the democracy that started in the country that our ancestors were born in, is what we celebrate today. And it's an amazing day for everyone. I, um, I wish you all a happy celebration for the 25th of March. I hope the parade is extremely successful and um, there will always be a special place in my heart for all of you Greek school kids who are doing your plays and memorizing your pimata right now. Uh, we thank you so much, Melina Kanagaridis, uh, star of CSI New York, and what a wonderful person. She has come a long way from doing that little Greek uh, play at school yeah, to uh, being a star has. of she CSI. Was in Providence. She's been nominated for Emmys, and we thank her for her comments today. We have some very special entertainment. We've been talking about this well, all day. Well, you know, day. She, she was in this competition in Greece. It's yes. like American Idol, yep. right? Yep. And she blew them away. And the best part is she's from West Hempstead, she New York. She is. She's a local girl, make good I love overseas. It. She's going to be singing some wonderful music for us today. I'm Her ready name to is dance. Calamira, and she's singing something called Secret Combination. Here she is, Calamira.
Awesome, so awesome. Kylo Mira, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. Um, it's just such an honor, really. Well, it's an honor for us to have you, and, and you've had quite the story here from, uh, you know, born in this country and then off to Greece to go on to Fame Story, their version of American Idol. Do they have a judge like Simon there? Or not? You know what? They do. They don't look alike, but they do. And I just want to thank the Greeks for all their support, especially the Greek Americans as well through Eurovision, through everything. And that's the next thing I was going to ask you about was Eurovision, because that was that was pretty special for you, the Eurovision 2008 contest where you represented Greece. Yes, it was just, again, such an honor. Um, they were so good to me. We had such a great time, and we had a great, strong team. And we got third place, and we were so shocked. Uh, we were, like, number 35 um, in the London charts, and then we were number one on iTunes for two straight weeks for world music, so it's been such a wonderful journey and a great adventure. Do you find yourself spending more time in this country or now more time in Greece? Well, now I said to myself, I don't want to be far from my family anymore. Plus, they have a restaurant here uh, in Centery, which is called the Lenny's Family Restaurant. Sorry, be there. Be there. Um, so I go and I help them, and it's nice because it's like you live two lives, you know? Well, I know that you're going to be coming up soon is the uh, Hellenic Times Scholarship Dinner that'll be coming up shortly, yes. and you're going to be performing there. Yes, I am, and I, I'm just so happy to be invited. Well, we're, we're glad that you could be with us. Meet Jennifer Anderson because I heard she might be there, and I'm like, I want to meet her because I'm a really big fan. <laughs> you know? Well, that's great. Well, we thank you very much, and we're going to have more from the Greek Parade on Fifth Avenue coming right up. And I'm here today to wish you a happy Greek Independence Day. Though, yes, technically I'm half Greek, half Italian, but, um, you know, as we say, mia faccia mia razza, one face, one race. We're both Mediterranean, passionate, loud people, very loud. We are known to be speaking all at the same time. And we basically invented drama, among other things. So. Here to say, Zito Yelada, me agapi yaulasas. Bye. Sophia. Sophia Milos, uh, CSI Miami, and someone who is very talented, and uh, we're so happy that she gave us these wonderful words today. I love Heartfelt. she said they invented drama. The Greeks invented drama. I work with you. Do I you not know, know about, about drama? drama? <laughs> well, we are delighted to have with us right now uh, someone who is very special from the Greek Orthodox Church and who is the Archbishop of America, uh, Bishop Demetrius. We are so happy that you're with us today and such an honor on a beautiful day. Everything worked right. It's a wonderful day, really. It's, it's a beautiful day. Happy Easter. I think, uh, thank you very much. Christos Anesti. Uh, Anesti. This is my 10th time consecutive uninterrupted. That's the best time-wise, weather-wise, uh, a coincidence of springtime. Resur resurrection time, uh, political changes, economic difficulties. Yes. It's, a, it's a rare coincidence of things that create a ter terrific kind of perspective. As, so it's, our it's spiritual, as our spiritual father and uh, someone that I personally know, and you are able to give us so much good information and it's good advice so many times. When so many people, you mentioned the economy, are, are, are really having a, a tough time right now, struggling through uh, what the whole country and the whole world is facing, and everything else that goes with it. What words do you have that could be of encouragement to us and something that could be uplifting on this day? Well, uh, I would say, because of the, again, with the coincidence in terms of time and, uh, and events, we have the uh, resurrection element in, on the side of orthodoxy, which says that even under the worst possible conditions, even when you have a definitive thing like death, there is never an end. There is always a hope. The resurrection gives us 
the hope beyond anything that in terms of rationality and positive thinking would be impossible. No, it is possible. And then the, re uh, the revolution of 1821 is another indication of achieving the impossible. I mean, a small nation, just a handful of people r rising against a ter terrific empire with all the Europeans against and being victorious, it's achieving the impossible. So the coincidence of these two things give to us this perspective. No matter what the difficulties and what the circumstances are, there is never ever a loss of hope, never a closed perspective. It's always an open horizon. It's always an open horizon. And today, with this type of weather, the horizon is even more open. I love it. And, and, and look at the, at the trees here. It's a rejuvenation of him. The, the very same trees were like dead. A few months ago now, they are full of life. Full of life. So here we are. I yes. love it. Your Eminence, how important is it to you to keep uh, alive the, the Greek traditions, the Greek culture? You know, we live in a, in a world uh, in America where we're competing with so many different forces. The new media, the old media, texting, you know, internet. How important is it to go back to basics for you? Well, I mean, to keep the, with the traditions is exactly to be able to have a safeguard or a balancing factor against this terrific, hectic change that occurs. I mean, it's a change everywhere. So here is a tradition. Now, we believe that our ageless traditions are extremely contemporary. That's the point. They are not some museum items that are good for a visit in a museum. They are alive realities because they emphasize family, human relations, love, the, the, the spirit of joy, the spirit of really jubilation in view of living on, on a planet once in a million, millions of years. Yeah. This is a thing. So traditions are a factor or a level that helps this kind of, of Well, we thank you so much. Uh, we've been talking with the distinguished leader of the Greek Orthodox Church uh, of America uh, and the Greek Arch Archdiocese of the United States and uh, your eminence. We are delighted that you're with us again, and we hope to have many, many more years together. You know, Rosanna has become uh, an honorary Greek for the day. Thank and, you. And uh, she's Scott celebrating Wapolis. with us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank she knows you how so to much. say Yasu and Christos Anesti. Yes. Absolutely. And let me just one more word. There is a beautiful book about Greek thought written by a number of scholars published at Sorbonne and Harvard simultaneously. The prologue written by an American scholar ends with a phrase, we are all Greeks, out far of our homeland. That's a nice thing. It's just the spirit of something like the Greek element being not so much Greek, but universal. And this is a meaning today. That's why we feel that everybody participates and shares in this job. Thank you, Archbishop. And I see that in thank even you your smiling much. faces. <laughs> are a wonderful thing for me. Thank you. Thank you your very eminence, much. Thank you so God much bless for words of and wisdom. keep thank you your well always. Always. Thank, thank you so thank much. You so much. Okay. Your eminence. We're going to Giovanna Deerpick right now thank for, you for more action on Fifth Avenue. Thank you, Your Eminence. Giovanna. Well, I'll tell you what, Ernie, something I've learned very quickly is that this is all about loving togetherness, reconnecting with friends, enjoying the family, just having one big happy time. Now, I have found some very interesting people. This is Yorgos and Varvara. I hope I'm saying that right. She's Polish. He's Greek. They've been married for 10 years. She's a first timer. What are your first impressions? I'm very impressed with the Greeks, with the tradition, with the people. I love Greeks and I love, love Greek food. <laughs> Yes, so do I. Now, how about you, Yorgos? You've been here many, many times, you were telling me. What does it mean to you to be a part of this parade? It means to look at my young uh, people, the way they parade and the march down in Fifth Avenue, and I'm very impressed, and that's what I've come over here to watch my people. Yasu. You were telling me that this is your life. Explain to me what that feeling is like. The feeling is when they're speaking about every different things, my hair starts crawling because I know what it means to me and all the history. The history, the pride, the sacrifice. His heart is beating with pride and I think we've converted this Polish woman into a Greek. I'd say so. He was 16 when he left Greece. Okay, he was 16 when he left Greece. Now take a look at this. This gentleman has this scarf. It's a little hot, wouldn't you say? Yes, it is hot. Yeah, it's because, because you're warm, yeah. 
Now, it's a quick warming for this, uh, this temperature here. It's uh, very, very hard to uh, warm it. But look at the sacrifice. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. We have to because it's our, uh, you know, Independence Day. So we have to show who we are and uh, what we, we represent. And so he's making a little bit of a sacrifice, but look, let's show this off with pride. That's a good looking scarf. Enjoy. Okay, now I want you to take a look at this beautiful family over here. I saw this little girl and I was talking to her mom and I'm like, what can you tell me? And she was like, in Greek or in English, how about that? Bilingual. Now your name is? Eleni. Eleno. Now, what can you tell me about why you're so proud to be Greek? Uh, I'm proud to be Greek because like I go to Greece like every summer and it's like so nice and I talk Greek and I go to a Greek school. So it's like so nice to be Greek. And what do you want to share with the world about what it means to you? Um, it means like, it's like, wait, wait, like, wait, can, can you say it again for a second? Well, do you want to tell me how to say, maybe you can teach me how to say, I love the Greeks. Let's try that one more time. How about if I let her say that? Yeah, I don't think I do a very good job. But as you can see, this family is out here. They're enjoying the day. What does it mean to you to have your whole family out here? Oh, we're very honored to be part of this auspicious day. We're very proud to keep our Greek faith and culture. And today's another way that we reinforce it as a family. There you go. Everybody's learning great lessons, faith, culture, pride. You get it all at the Greek Parade here in New York City. Giovanna, you're doing a great job, Giovanna. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Your Greek is really coming through today. I know. She's impressing us. Rosanna, we want to mention uh, several of the floats uh, that have been passing by. Chemises Theotoko of Brooklyn, uh, St. Constantine and Helen Cathedral of Brooklyn, also St. Nicholas Church at Ground Zero, the Holy Greek Orthodox Church of Brooklyn, and the Three Hierarchs Greek Church also of Brooklyn. Holy Trinity of St. Nicholas, Staten Island. Uh, there are so many various groups and church organizations. Absolutely. We can also mention some of the other groups that are part of this. Philoptikos, which uh, is a friend of the poor, the Philoptikos Society, uh, they do so much work. The National Society promotes a, a number of charitable events. Uh, they just reach out to everywhere that there is a need, and we want to salute them today. Also, St. George uh, Church of Piscataway, and St. Sophia of Albany, New York, I've been up there many times with uh, Father oh, you have? Patrick Legato. Really? Yeah, he is the priest up there and a terrific guy. You know, we also wanted to talk about food, Rosanna, because we both love food. Oh, it's the yeah, what is this, Ernie? Because, you know, I'm used to some of the, the delicious cookies Cari you bring Dopita me. is what this is called. What's this in is that? A, this is like a walnut, a walnut uh, cake or bread. It's mm. delicious. We're going to have you enjoy a little I bit of I have someone next to me, Nicole, who's Hi, Nicole. just dying to have a little of that cake. Do you know what kind of cake that is? <laughs> No. Okay, so tell us, stand up first of all, because you look beautiful. Tell us about your costume. My costume, my costume, Queen Amalia wear this costume when the Greeks, Greece got the freedom. Mm -hmm. oh, they didn't well. have the freedom for 104 years. Really? You weren't around then, were you? No. <laughs> Just checking. And your, your, your parents have taught you and your grandparents have taught you about your heritage, and that's where you're learning most of this from. Do you also go to Greek school? Yes. Tell us about Greek school. Is it fun? Yes, it's very fun. Can you teach Rosanna something? Yes, I need to learn a new Greek word today. <laughs> Another Greek word is stavros. 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 What does that mean? Cross. 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 Okay. How do you say happy? Okay, maybe I forgot. Oh. Uh, you know, if, 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 you're, if you're happy, uh, you're saying Yasu. That's a nice word yes, to say. Yasu is nice. Look at the happy faces here. All these young people marching in the parade. Now, did your school, is your school here as well, marching in the parade, do you know? My English school? Your school, where you go to school. Where do you go or to school? my Greek school. school. Your Greek school? Yeah. What's the name of your Greek school? Do you want to give them a shout out? Clifton. Say hi. Clifton. You know what? Nicole is Harumini, as we say. She's a happy girl. Kadi. So she has happiness in her heart. And we're celebrating today. We just uh, saw uh, Tony Orlando go by, who was the Grand Marshal. It's Marshall Independence today. Day. He's going to be Independence celebrating. Day. Get it right. Independence Day. That's what it is. And we're celebrating it. We have more coming to you live from Fifth Avenue in New York on My Nine. We'll be back. I'll take a slice of that. Okay, here we go. I want one slice. One, two.
Okay. This portion of the Greek Independence Day Parade is brought to you by Faith, an endowment for Orthodoxy and Hellenism. You dreamed about it. It's been carefully planned. And here is the most important day of your life. The Grand Prospect Hall, 718-788-0777. And we're back live, Ernie Anastas with... Rosanna Scotto, we are celebrating Greek pride today. We sure are. This is live to you on Fifth Avenue, and what a special day. We have a number of floats, 46 in fact, uh, marching bands, live entertainment. We talked about Tony Orlando being here. We just heard from Calamira. Wasn't she a terrific performer? Oh, my performer? goodness. And I love her background that she was born in West Hempstead. Yes. But actually made it big in Greece. Yes. She went back there and won the big competition well, there. She's doing very well, and we're very happy to have her with us today. You can hear all of the groups in the background. I love all the colorful costumes, too, that are part of this uh, beautiful parade today. Well, this is part of the history and part of the culture. We wanted to mention a number of the floats that have been coming by here, Rosanna. The Epirotis, uh, those are the inhabitants of the region of Epirus. And they were with us here today celebrating also St. Markella of Astoria. Uh, this is from uh, Hios, which is a wonderful island in Greece. Oh. And uh, St. Markella uh, canonized the Greek Orthodox Church. She is a patron saint of Hios, and her feast day is celebrated on July the 22nd. Also afloat here today, the Cretans of New York, the largest Greek islands and the fifth largest islands in the Mediterranean Sea. Also, you had a Cretan uh, association called Omonia. Omonia, uh, say but it that right. is, But, you know, you no, tell don't me think that of word. Ammonia. No, when I, is it, is it the word ammonia, yeah. like that we clean with, no. come from ammonia? No, it's just a, 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 a Because name. you always tell me the Greeks have all the <laughs> a words. A name for everything. Yeah, Give me any <laughs> word, I show you, it comes from Greek. That's right. You're thinking of my big, fat Greek wedding, aren't you? The Samo Society was also here today, and we're very happy that they were part of our, uh, our anniversary and our celebration. Well, we are having so much fun on Fifth Avenue today. We are celebrating Greek Independence Day. It couldn't be a nicer day. 91 degrees. No, and we, we got to thank our weatherman, no? Yeah, let's, Nick is doing a great job out there, and he has special guests and everything that's going on on Fifth Avenue. Nick? I do. We have, uh, we've had such a great day here, as you mentioned, 91 degrees, but at least the humidity is low, so... I mean, we're still sweating a little bit, but, it, you know, this is a sample of Greece's weather. So we're, we're not only bringing you the culture of Greece, but we're bringing you the weather as well. And the man responsible for, one of the people responsible for all of this, uh, is the president of the Federation of uh, Hellenic Societies of Greater New York, uh, Dimitrios Kalamaras. Good to see you. And you got some guests here. I could see you better without the flags. <laughs> We'd like to thank you guys so much, and Brand, for, for, airing, for airing today's parade. It's a wonderful parade. This weather has brought everybody out. We just had these ancient Spartans go by. These are my two lovely daughters here, uh, Helen and Rodia. And this is the bridge, Nick. This is the marriage between Greece and America that we celebrate here today. Our forefathers that fought in Greece, our parents that grew up here and did so well in this country and made our lives so much better. And we're here today to celebrate them. And this is the least we can do for all their efforts. Well, it's so true. And, you know, when you look at the little ones like you're holding here and uh, your two beautiful daughters, I have three three daughters as well. So, you know, it's like to be the father of daughters. What's your name? Rydia. And how old are you? Four. Oh, you're getting to be a big girl. Do you like coming to this parade? Yeah, but it's really, really, really long. It's really long. It's really warm, too, but it's a lot of fun, right? And what's your name? Can you say your name? Helen. Helen. Beautiful, Helen. Well, you know, maybe we're going to see you soon marching in this parade, too, oh, yeah. like everybody else is doing. So that's great. Say Zito Elada. Zito Elada. Ah, perfect. Zito. Zito. All right, excellent. Thank you so much for thank being you, with us. Thank you. thank you for having us. Really All right, we, we appreciate it. And Ernie and Rosetta, we'll take it back to you. Thank you very much, Nick. And we are continuing to watch the parade as it passes by our booth here as we broadcast How live to you. How many people do you think are out here? I mean, forget about the parade route because those are thousands and thousands of people marching and participating today. But the sidelines, thousands and thousands of people have turned out. Well, we were asking John Katzmatidis, the yeah, parade chairman. Exactly. I mean, I think he was, um, you know, trying to estimate. But, it, but it, you know, he's hoping that perhaps so over, well over 100,000 people, perhaps more. That is fantastic. And who have gathered here since early this morning 
and uh, have been preparing for this for some time, because as we've said before, this is really the only third broadcast that we've had of this week parade, and I think that they're very proud that it is on television, and everybody can share on the celebration. I just love watching some of the people who are standing on the sidelines when these beautiful floats go by, and these people who are marching in colorful costumes, and everybody gets so excited about it. They, they do. really appreciate their heritage and all the culture and everything that goes along with being a Greek American. You said it very well, Rosanna. Opa. And we love you for it. <laughs> yes, Sue. We're taking a break. We have much more live action, including entertainment. Tony Orlando will be joining us. Knock three times on the ceiling. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, no, 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 Tony honey. to sing when we come back. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> And we welcome you back. 2009 Greek Independence Day. It's a live parade on Fifth Avenue in New York City. We say Yasu, Kalimera to all of you, to our friends and families who are watching this parade. It's live on My9 with all of the festivities going on. I want to mention uh, some of the uh, parade people floats. who are part of this parade. St. Demetrius of Merrick, Pan Icarian. Did I say that right, Ernie? Yep. Uh, the Census Bureau, Club One. Club One, and St. Paul of Hempstead, Long Island, which is a very pretty church. I've been out there many times. We also want to mention some of the other floats that are here today, the Cypress Federation of America, and Peter Papanicolaou, who is president of that organization, is marching proudly today. The Liampusa Cypriot American Society, President Stavros Kamiladis, we thank you for being here as well. And we also want to outline the uh, Calavasos fraternity. And Michael Ioannou is the president of that organization. They were founded back in 1936. They've got about 150 members. Beautiful. They... We're looking at, uh, is it Salesian High School? Yep. And Adelphi University. And Fordham University there, Hell Hellenic Society as well. You know, they practice and they get ready for this. You know, this is like something that is a uh, highlight. This is a big deal. Of course it is. And also St. Barbara of Orange, Connecticut. They've also been part of this event. And we wanted to make mention of a number of churches that have been part of this. Uh, St. Petro, the Apostle of Riverdale in the Bronx. Father John Spilio, who is the presiding priest there. Look at that beautiful baby, Ernie. You know, these are the little faces that we see on television. You just want to squeeze their little I cheeks, know, don't you? I know, I know. Because they look so cute. Everybody's so excited to be a part of this wonderful parade. The third time it's on uh, either My 9 or uh, Fox 5. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, it's, it's one of these things where every year we kind of look forward to this because we have a chance to eat. <laughs> and we were yes, and about we haven't food. stopped, actually. You know those kudurakia are the, are the butter cookies. Oh, the one, do they have the, sh the powdered? No, those are curambiedes. Oh, those were That's good. very close. I, I had two of those already. But you're very familiar with the Greek food, but also, you know, food in general because of your family and, yes, and, and but your I restaurant. I appreciate Fresco. the Greek. I love the Greek food. I it's love the same Fresco. Mediterranean it diet. It is because you know what? It's it's the delicious fish right. with olive oils. Of course, I think Italian olive oil is better than the Greek <laughs> oh, olive oil. Here we go. All right, we're, we're going to have go a fight. We're going to have a fight now. It's like old times. No, the Greek <laughs> olives are delicious, aren't they? Oh, Ernie, come Hi. on, your fan Hello, club. Guys. <laughs> nice to see you guys. Look at how much fun we're having there. Yasu, Yasu. They love you, Ernie. Ikaros Hellenic Society, how are you guys? You know, this is the uh, this is the enjoyment of the day as they Fantastic. march by and they want to wave to us and wave to the television Listen, cameras. Listen, when you come back to, tomorrow to work at yes, Fox 5, right. if you think we'll go all wave and chant <laughs> your name when you come in. I hope so. <laughs> all right, you have maybe. to do that on Good Day New York as well. Don't <laughs> forget right. that, right? Maybe for I'll the first five seconds. I'll be watching you tomorrow morning. I'm going to speak very nicely <laughs> tomorrow morning. I'm going to tell them everything I learned today. Did you see Tony Orlando when he was passing by on the he float? Was he was singing my favorite song, yeah, Knock Three Times on the Ceiling. Uh, I don't want to sing because on the ceiling. ceiling if, if you want, want me. He is, he is twice just on the pipes. We should <laughs> stop singing because we want him to sing. He's going to be singing later. We're going to find him. I think he's taking a shower. Where is he? He's supposed to be here with us now. I hope so. But I mean, he, I think he I think he got stuck a little bit because he has a lot of fans here. He does have Hi, a lot of fans. Hi, everybody. St. George, George Greek, Greek Orthodox, Orthodox Church of Piscataway. Hi. And they're all dressed up in that episode. I think I started to tell you that when I was a young boy, I used to dress up in that traditional attire, you know, with the little vest and the shoes. Hi. How are you? <laughs> and that was just a, a big part of, of Greek did Independence you like, Day. Did you like doing that? I did. I, I, I liked wearing the skirt. It, it really, <laughs> you know, all the other kids in the neighborhood who were not 
nod Greek wondered what I was doing really? and I had to explain it to them but you know what uh, it, it, it's such an interesting mix what of I love communities. About, about what I love about the Greek community is that you really held on to your traditions your language whereas I feel some of the Italian Americans at least with my family they try to assimilate so much that they drop the language I don't speak the language I know you speak Greek yes I or at do. least it sounds Greek to me you, <laughs> we've taught you the good words too yes. you know Rosanna what you're saying is so true you're talking about Italian Americans whether it's Greek Americans or whatever I think everyone is trying as much as they can to pass this along to their children it's not easy to do it's not easy it's not easy do to you do. find that your grandchildren um, still uh, do they speak Greek are they keeping no, the traditions they're, they're, that you did first with of all, your they're children? very young but you know you, you try and you hope by sending them to Greek school or speaking in at, at home especially during holidays and being able to show them you know what it's about and also teach them the language but it is difficult uh, you try they, they 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 will hopefully learn something but it's it's a it's a general problem i think that we all have and yes. that is you know we live in such a quick paced society and we're influenced so much by media that it's difficult to hold on to these things but that's why a parade to like today is a great reminder to get back to the books learn a little bit more about your culture uh try to preserve some of the traditions that were handed on from your father or grandfather father and that's why I'm enjoying this today we I'm are having a great time all right we have more coverage uh, coming up here and uh, let's go live and find out what's happening with Nick well I'm down here Ernie and uh, you know enjoy I'm, you better save some of those good objectives there okay yeah we will <laughs> because you know Mike and I were just talking here that we're, you guys are making us hungry so you know we're gonna come down there I've got Mike Janaris here our assemblyman from Queens from Astoria and uh, uh, as every year Mike it's great to be out here it's a proud day for all of us who are Greek Americans for those of us like myself whose parents came from Greece, uh, we're immigrants to this city, which accepts so many people. Uh, it's especially proud. You know, my mom makes good abiertas herself. All right. So now I'm getting tempted. I'm going <laughs> to give her a call and have her uh, bake up a batch for me. Well, that's great. And, and we, you know, we, Ernie and Rosanna were just talking about, uh, you know, it, that it's not easy to keep the, the Greek culture uh, going in generations and generations in America. And it's important to keep that up. Well, that's why days like this are so important. With each generation that passes, uh, less, less people know the language, less people remember the history. And we need days like this to remember what it's all about for us, remember where our ancestors came from. And it's important when we're talking about Greeks in particular that this is something all of Western civilization can embrace because, as everyone knows, we invented democracy. We're the foundation for math and sciences and the arts and uh, have so much that everyone can share. Well, great, Mike. Well, thank you very much for being with us today and continue marching proudly. Thank you, great. And we're going to be back from Fifth Avenue with more of the Greek Independence Day Parade after we take this time out. Being Greek has always been very important uh, to me and a big part of my life stemming from uh, the customs and rich traditions that were instilled in me at a very young age by my family. I worked for many years for my father in a Greek restaurant flipping hamburgers. And when I started Full House, my character originally wasn't Greek, but I thought it was important for me to uh, make him Greek. So we changed his name to Katsopoulos, which basically it's kind of half Jewish, cats, and Opolis, which was Greek. So um, it made everybody happy. And uh, the rest is sort of history. I hope you're all having a great day at the parade. And I wish everyone happy Greek Independence Day. This portion of the Greek Independence Day Parade is brought to you by the Nicholas J. and Anna K. Boris Foundation Incorporated. And we are broadcasting live once again, Rosanna. We're really happy to be here on this Sunday afternoon celebrating Yasu as we see everyone passes by. A lot of beautiful young children coming here to celebrate their Greek pride today with their families. This is a 2009 Greek Independence Day parade and the number of floats that have been passing us by. I mean, you can see the pride, Rosanna, the young faces, Everybody's the children. Everybody's so happy to be yeah. here. They're screaming out things in Greek. And, and waving uh, their flags. So many uh, people have come here from the tri-state area. We have been uh, watching the floats that have been going by. Drexel University uh, from Philadelphia, they had a beautiful float. Right. The uh, Pan Gregorian Enterprises, they have also been part of this. The Alma Bank, and also St. Paul of Hempstead, Long Island. Beautiful church, I've been out there so many times. Really? Uh, yeah, it's in Hempstead, and Father uh, Melakrinos is there. Oh. Uh, also the Federation of Associated Laconian Societies. There are more floats for us to pass by, but we have been singing all day Tony Orlando's I praises. I am so excited because not only is he the Grand Marshal, yeah. but boy, do I love him. He's one of the best entertainers around. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Tony Orlando.
I don't know if you guys remember this tune. I don't know if you remember Yellow Ribbon, but if you do, would you mind? Come on, come on, everybody, let's do it. I'm coming home, I've done my time. I've got to know what is and isn't mine. If you receive my letter telling you I'd soon be free, well, then you'll know just what to do if you still want me. If you still want me. Look at the anchors go. Look at them go. Whoa, tie a yellow ribbon around the old whoa tree. It's been three long years. Do you still want me? And if I don't see a ribbon round the old oak tree, I'll stay on the bus, forget about us, put the blame on me. If I don't see that yellow ribbon round the old Okay, put your hands together even if you're marching. Come on, give me some time. Oh, yes! Bus driver, please look for me. I couldn't bear to see what I might see You know I'm really still in prison And my love, she holds the key To that simple yellow ribbon It's what I need to set me free And I wrote and I told her, please You know the words? Come on Whoa, tie a yellow ribbon around the old Whoa, tree, it's been three long years do you still want me? And if I don't see a ribbon round the old wool tree, I'll stay on the bus, forget about us. You put the blame on me if I don't see that yellow ribbon round. How about a hand for that young man? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a dancing man. That's one dancing Greek right there, let me tell you. That's one great death. Okay, those of you up in the stands, are you ready? Now the whole parade is cheering. Because they can't believe what they see. A hundred yellow ribbons round the old, the old. I'm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I am coming home. We gonna tie those ribbons. We gonna tie those ribbons. Those beautiful ribbons. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just like that. Keep it right there. Welcome to the Greek parade. We tie that yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. Yasu! Fantastic. Tony Hello, Orlando. everybody. Michael. Let's give him a now, for those of you who don't know this, uh, my father's name is Leo Kasavitakis. Yes. My papu, my yaya, came to this country and changed it to Kasavitis. My whole name is Michael Anthony Orlando Kasavitis. My middle name is Tony Orlando. Now, let me just show you <laughs> how Cretan Great I am. OK, let's hear this. He's going to oh, say something. Oh, I love it. OK, oh, I like that. you're going to do knock three times with me now? <laughs> let's do it. Hit it. Oh, great. Bring on the band. Bring on the band. Tony Orlando. I mean, Cheers, how New proud York. Is Welcome Cheers to the to you, best Yasu. parade. I'm so Tony is just so happy to be here. Isn't it great when you have yeah. a, a Grand Marshal who's so excited to I be know. a part of this? You know, he, he, you know, he was just talking about his family, and it really, you know, brings chills to your, you know, you start thinking about his heritage and how proud he is of his family. We're going to be talking to him a little bit later on. I'm very excited because he's, he's Greek uh, and also Puerto Rican, right? Yes, he, was he is. Born, his mother well, is actually, Puerto Rican. His father yeah, was he was raised in Hell's Kitchen. Yep. Yep. Was he born here? Or I, was yeah, he, yeah, I believe he was born here, yes. Born here. Yeah, but I mean, he's going to be talking a lot more about that later on. I but we were just having such a great time. We shouldn't sing when he comes over. No, we'll make it a surprise. <laughs> because we're going to start, you know, what, we, you know what's going to happen? We're going to start singing with him. <laughs> he's going to walk away. And then we're away. both going to be out of a job. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, anyway, we hope you're having as much fun as we are because we're loving this day. Yeah, this is a very special day. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better temperature. It's like 90 degrees right now. How uh, are you oh, doing, Undine? Over 100,000 people. On? You think I should take this all off? I think you should Look take it off. Look at this little sweet face See, waving she's that flag. Dressed properly. Well, you know, she's nice and cool. She's very cool. I should be dressed like that. Nick Gregory is standing by. He's also part of this parade today, as uh, as proud as we are. Nick, absolutely having a great time, just watching all the faces of the young and old marching proudly and. Uh, soaking in this heat, 91 degrees. That's what we have, a record-breaking heat. You know, the record high for today was 84, said back in 1942. So we blasted through that, but again, with this blue sky, we're having a wonderful time. And we're joined by people from all over, in fact, all the way from Chicago, from Illinois. We have uh, Alexi Giannoulias, the Illinois State Treasurer. Thanks for coming all this way. Thanks for having me, and thank you for the weather. Well, you got it. Well, I know you just had a, a similar parade in Chicago, but how, how does it compare to ours? Well, for our parade a few weeks ago, it was about, uh, you know, 15 degrees and snowing and hailing and rain. So uh, maybe we should move it to New York every year. <laughs> well, we'll, uh, we'll take this weather, that's for sure. And uh, uh, so it's, uh, it's great to have you here. And uh, tell, tell me a little bit about your background as a Greek-American. Well, I am very proud of, of my heritage. Both my parents were Greek immigrants, sort of the, the, the fairy tale Greek story. My mom is from the island of Crete. My father's from the mainland. They came here, uh, worked very hard, made a lot of sacrifices, and uh, you know, taught me the language. And my Greek culture is very important to me, and it's very important, obviously, uh, to a lot of the folks here. So it's it's a great day. I'm very happy, and I'm honored to be the Grand Marshal. Not deserving, but honored. <laughs> well, we're we're honored to have you here, and I can see where you get the Cretan part here, the height. A lot, a lot of Cretans are tall. So, and then, and that uh, led to I understand you did basketball in Greece, right? I played professional basketball in Greece for uh, for a little bit. A uh, great experience, and as you know. Just uh, the most beautiful country in the world. And will we be hearing Governor Giannoulias, maybe? Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. All right, Alexi. And we're going to have more from Fifth Avenue when the Greek Independence Day Parade continues after this. I am good job, man. so Thank you very, much. very, very proud of my Greek heritage and to be a member of this amazing community. And as my grandmother always used to say about being Greek and being married to a Greek, she would say, well, if it was good enough for the Queen of England and for everyone who, who isn't a serious history buff, um, know that Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, was originally Prince Philippos of Greece. He only changed his name for the woman he loved the day before his wedding, just as my grandfather did when he immigrated. For in all actuality, I am Elizabeth Perkins Pispericus, a very proud Greek American. Refining every detail. Combining old world with modern luxury. Terrace on the Park, where an exclusive feel meets unparalleled grandeur. Visit us online at terraceonthepark.com. tell you how excited we are that Tony Orlando is here. Tony Orlando! First of all, my father's looking down from heaven right now. Yeah. My Greek dad, my father Leo Kassavidakis, my papu my yaya changed to Kassavidis. I've always wanted to be part of this Greek parade. They've invited me. This is a prideful day for my father, my yaya, Mapu. Thank you. You know, I'm half Greek, half Puerto Rican, which makes me a New York Greek or Rican. <laughs> That's good. But my Greek heritage is something I treasure, I love. I'm blessed with two wonderful nationalities. And my father, let me tell you something, he was totally Greek. When my father walked into a room, you knew you a knew Greek it, right? walked into the room. What did he teach yeah, you? Yeah, what did he teach yeah. you? He taught me respect for Greek heritage. He taught me to respect my grandmother, my grandfather. He taught me to make sure that if I spoke the language, speak it right or don't speak it at all. Do you speak the language? <laughs> if you don't speak it right, don't speak it at all. Oh, you I, speak get it it now. Bit, Tony? I get it. And and he did. He spoke perfect, perfect Greek. Um, because of a divorce in the family, there was not much Greek in the household. But I tell you what, my Greek father was my first idol. My book, my autobiography, I write. I had one idol. 
My very first idol was my own father. When my father would walk down the street, he would glide like a Cretan, he'd stand like a Cretan, oh, he'd yes. look at you, and he'd say, Yasu, and you knew Yasu. he was Greek. We saw that amazing. pose that you struck on stage. Oh, yeah. That was it, right? You know, I met Anthony Quinn. Yes. I don't know if we have time to talk yeah. about it. Go ahead, But sure. Anthony Quinn I met one day, and I said, you know, I would love to play Zorba someday. He goes, but, but you're not Greek. I said, well, neither are you. Right, exactly. That's right. I said, you're Mexican-Irish. He said, oh, yeah, you're right, but I'm Greek in the heart. There I said, go. I'm Greek in the heart, and I'm half Greek. So he said, the day I go, my boy, you can do Zorba. So someday my dream for my father is that I do Zorba the Greek on the road. I'd love to do that. Hey, Terry, listen, you have five number one hits, three American Music Awards, one People's Choice Award. I did Award. good. You have and the, the Walk star. of Fame. Yeah, on the Walk of Fame. I did yes, good. you did very I mean, good. What more do you want? You want to be <laughs> Zorba the Greek? Yeah, because Zorba the Greek would be the ultimate tribute to my family. It's about, you know, the life in Crete. It's about that one proud man. You know, there's great pride in the tr Greek tradition. And, and the Greek family. It's a wonderful thing to see these kids able to speak Greek, go to Greek school, remember their Greek heritage. It's a very important thing in New York City. What makes New York City great is that heritage is not ignored. They're, they're held up high. You have this parade of all nationalities in this city. That's why I'm proud to also say I'm born and raised in this great city of New York. And Tony, one of the things, of course, that the Greeks are known for is giving back, uh, making so many various contributions to civilization, as you know, Thank but you. also giving back as individuals. And you do that because you're try. involved with Musk the dystrophy on my yeah. night every year. We yeah. thank you. Jim, my 30th year that. with Jerry in yes. New York, hosting Jerry's New York mm -hmm. Telethon. And I am uh, proud to say I'm doing it again this year for that wonderful man who is now 80 Ooh. years old. Yeah, right. and looking good, too. And uh, he might see this. So, <laughs> But he looks younger than me. He's 165 pounds. He's wearing tuxedos he wore with Dean. Oh, it makes crazy. me very mad, Jerry. <laughs> Are you so, still touring, Tony? What's going on I do on 164 with you? dates a year on the road. Wow. You can find me on TonyLando.com. But tomorrow morning, I leave for Las Vegas. I open uh, at the Mirage with Terry Fader. And then I go on to do my own show at the South Point Hotel in, on the weekend in Vegas. So, yeah, I just come back from Iraq. I was in Iraq for the last, uh, well, 18 days. That was a life-changing experience to imagine. be there. We have the greatest, greatest bunch of young people over there. This is the first volunteer army uh, ever since the Civil War. Those young men and women are committed to be there because they want to be, and you can tell. They're making America very proud. Yes, they are. And we That's did plenty of shows for them there, so it was a great... How nice that you went over and, and, and rallied up the troops. Well, yeah, you know, I went over with, them, forgive me, say, American Airlines, but, you know, the first casualties that went in this war happened in the World Trade Center with the flight attendants and the, and the pilots of the American Airline flight that crashed into that building downtown. So they, they are very pro-military and asked me to take that yellow ribbon over to Baghdad, and I had the honor to play for some of these young kids who looked at me and said, is that Geraldo Rivera singing up there? <laughs> Wait a second, do you sing Knock Three Times on the scene? Oh yeah, I sang Knock Three Times, I sang, I sang Yellow Ribbon. I also did a little bit of Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin, ha ha. You did it all. <laughs> Tony, first of all, we congratulate you for what you have done here today as the Thank Grand you. Marshal of this parade, entertaining everyone, your Thank heart, your, your soul, is in it. Is and what about you? You're sitting out here in this 99 degree weather. Well, we were dancing with you. And you're not even breaking a sweat. <laughs> it's amazing, these two, how they're able to handle this. We, we learn. You yeah. never let them see you sweat. Well, we're Remember proud of you, commercial. New York. Tony, thank you, thank you very much. Doing for us. You know, we're going to share something with you right now, too, because of what you talked about, the pride that you have in your heritage. There is another singer, and I know you know about him, because he was on American Idol, season four. His name was Constantine Maroulis. My Greek buddy. Your Greek buddy, and he's going to well. perform for us right now. So from oh. one legend to an upcoming legend, how's the this? Best, Here's great singer. Congratulations, thank Tony thank you. Orlando. Thank you very much, Tony. Go for it, Constantine, my man. And there he is, what a face, Yasu. <laughs> Yasu. Hey, by the way, Christos Anesti, too. Christos Anesti. Oh, it's so good to see Very you, Very good to see you again. This is a great day. This is the, the big parade in New York, it and is. we're so happy you're part of it. I'm so glad to be here. You know, every year, this is it's wonderful to be sort of in a position um, to be able to, you know, give back to the community and, and recognize uh, Greek awareness all over New York City, and uh, you guys are always really good to me, so... Well, Yasu, we're everyone. Very... <laughs> we're very proud of you, needless to say. I mean, you've done so well. I want to talk a little bit about your Greek heritage in a moment. But, you know, first of all, you're, you're on Broadway right now. Rock of Ages. I mean, rave reviews from the New York Times. You are doing fantastic. What Thank a you. wonderful musical comedy it is. So excited. Thank you very much for saying that. Yeah. And uh, my first time creating a role on Broadway. So, uh, yeah, come down to Rock of Ages. It's a lot of fun. It's a 1980s rock and roll show. It's set in about 1986, 1987 on the Sunset Strip. Two lovers. Lots of <laughs> Of great
great songs from that era. But you're a smash, though. I mean, I, no, seriously, I'm not just saying that because you're here, but I understand that you really are doing a fantastic job. Your talent is really coming through. Thank you. As it always has, but well, right now, you're really starting to blossom. Idol, season number four was great for you. Sure. And now you're on Broadway. You had a lot of things going on. It's a great opportunity. The, the show and I, it's a, it's a good combination, and uh, the opportunity to create this role has been amazing. So Constantine. To, to rock out and to act, yeah. it just works. You're proud to be a Greek American. Absolutely. I know you are. Absolutely. Very and, much and so. And what's made a difference in your life being Greek? Definitely the family support system. Um, you know, my huge extent, extended family, cousins, uncles, aunts, were from Brooklyn. I grew up in New Jersey. Yay! That sort of, you know, New York, New Jersey edge that we have, and uh, everyone's so supportive. And I would be nowhere without my family uh, supporting me and the and the other Greeks in the community it's as well. It's good that you mentioned all of that. And it's good, you know what, you also have your name. Uh, when, when someone sees Constantine Maroulis, <laughs> they know that that is a Greek name. Yeah. Did um, you ever think about changing that? Did anybody ever want to change it? Sure. People definitely wanted to change yeah. it. And in fact, when we moved to Brooklyn, moved from Brooklyn to New Jersey, I was very young, and it was, uh, you know, very sort of conservative suburb that we lived in. Uh, the name was, was pretty heavy for people to to accept at the time. I was very young, the kids, they didn't know how to say it, so they called me Dean, Dean which yeah. is often mm, the shortened right. version of, of, of Gostandinos. Yes. So um, that stuck with me. So everyone from Wyckoff, New Jersey still calls me Dean. They know me as Dean. <laughs> Constantine, you've got some wonderful names in your family. You started to tell me about your mom, your dad. Say these names because they're beautiful Greek names. Well, my mother is Gostandina, yeah. uh, or Constance. Right. Uh, so I'm named after actually her father, Gostandinos. Right. Uh, my, my father is, uh, is Demetrius, or, uh, um, James. James, yeah. Uh, my, my brother is um, Athanasius. Athanasius, and they yeah. call we call him Athan. Mm -hmm. And my sister, born on uh, on Easter, a Anastasia? few years ago, and she's Anastasia, and she right. just had a birthday the other day. So happy birthday, Anastasia! And Chronia Pola Anastasia That's too. Right. You got Tazi. You know, this is a, this is a big holiday. <laughs> You're doing so many different projects, and one of them involves a marvelous children's book. It's called Lukumi. Absolutely. A wonderful book. Uh, Nick Katsouris, a great friend of, of both of ours. Yes. An incredible figure in the Greek community. Does so much for so many great people out there. He's uh, this talented author. Who knew? You know, this is his third book in uh, in the Lukumi series. I do Gus. <laughs> and uh, Let me hear uh, Gus. Well, uh, he sort of talks like this. <laughs> and he's a bit of a farmer and it's kind of fun. That's great. And a huge portion of the proceeds go to St. Jude's Children's Hospital for uh, Cancer Research, doing amazing things for them. I was reaching back here, you know, to pull this out for you. This is a flag. <laughs> That's it. A Greek flag. Zito Alas. Zito Alas. And this is a great celebration. We are we are so happy that you're with us. Thank you. Uh, the parade is going on right now. Maybe you want to wish everybody one more time something special. Absolutely. Happy Greek Independence Day. A beautiful parade. Thank you, New York, for supporting your Greeks. And uh, come on down to the parade. Come to Rock of Ages. Zito Alas. Christos Anesti, uh, thank you all so much for all your support. I love you all very much. New York, New Jersey. That's it. That's right. Great. Thank you so much. Constantine <laughs> thank Rulis, you, Ernie. we're thank proud you of so you. Much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Oh, we thank you very much, Constantine. We're so proud of you. We're He's taking on a break. Broadway now, yeah, right? oh, Rock, Rock of Ages. Ages. Rock of Ages, and what we're doing, the big parade. And we're rocking Fifth Avenue right now. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Yasu. This portion of the Greek Independence Day Parade is brought to you by Atlantic Bank, a division of New York Commercial Bank, a member of FDIC. And you say it so well, Rosanna. This I've is a great day best. for us. We're celebrating the Greek Independence Day Parade 2009. Well over 100,000 people lining the streets of Fifth Avenue and this beautiful boulevard and really celebrating our heritage and the pride in the Greek-American culture. And, and our parade chairman, John Katsimatidis, is with us again. And we're going to talk about some of the money that's being raised by some of our sponsors today. We can't put this on the air unless we have sponsors that are, that are helping support us. You know, it costs a lot of money to put it on, on live. And uh, one of our sponsors is the Nick and Anna Boris Foundation, yes, who does a lot of philanthropic uh, things for Greek causes, for the church, and this man just is just pure great person, and he just he just gives money to to all millions these great and millions of dollars, right, millions every year in grants, well, scholarships, donations, and now he's uh, 
he's just uh, likes to give back. Well, John, you know, you, you have so many friends, and uh, Nick happens to be one of your close friends, and he has quite a history of his own. I mean, he was a war hero, and he worked for U.S. Steel, and then went off and created his own company. Tell us a little bit about some of the he, personal stories. He was stories. a war hero in uh, World War II. Uh, he flew uh, airplanes, and uh, uh, he led, later on, when he started one of the largest uh, steel companies in, in the United States. Huh. And he's really a great uh, man. Who also loves to give back from what we can see. Now, when you talk with him, you can see it in his eyes, you can see it in his face, how he feels about being able. He knows that he's been blessed to be able to do this. And he talks about the passion that he has about helping and giving back. Yeah. And um, we have other sponsors, as you know. Yes. We have a Atlantic Bank, Spiros Fortinas, who helps out every year. Uh, this year, we also have the uh, John Mangles Foundation, uh, the Mike Jaharis Foundation. And without all these people helping, we wouldn't be able to get this done. You know what? You make it look easy. Everything is going very smoothly. You have the marching bands. You have the beautiful costumes. You have the performers. But they don't, maybe people sitting at home right now don't realize the effort and time that goes into organizing something like that. Well, this. it's a lot of work. There are hundreds of people working on this parade. Uh, for months and months and months just to make it happen smoothly right. on a day like this. So behind the scenes, there are a lot of people uh, working on Thank you uh, very much. John Katsimatidis, parade Thanks. chairman and the CEO of the Red Apple Corporation and so many great things that you do for New York. And we of thank course, you. the Hellenic Times uh, Listen to that music. Foundation. Opa. Wow. We're going to go to Giovanna Deerpick. Giovanna, Yasu. Opa. Guys, I've always wanted to march in a parade. And look who I found here. This gentleman is what? I'm a Cretan. He's a Cretan. Now, talk to me about what it's like marching in the parade. How do Beautiful. you go? I march every year. How do you go the distance? Not the distance. I came from Jersey. And talk to me about your costume. So my costume is from uh, original from Island Street. And uh, I don't know a lot about it. But my father used to wear it, so I wear it. This is my father's suit. How do you like that? Passing on legacy and tradition. This is the outfit that his father wore. This is very, very cool. This is, this is really, after the, the Turks, they took over Crete. Yeah. This is like a symbol of uh, people, they die of bar of uh, Turkish. And we wear this to, remind, to remember all that. Sounds good. Beautiful costume. There's a I'm lot of history. I'm not a but you know, I tried my best. Sounds good. So here we go, walking down the New York City Greek Independence Day Parade. Thank you so much You're for welcome. showing that with us. They say there's more this year than last year. Back to you guys. Thank you so much. We are here with a very special guest right now. This is our guest for the afternoon, Spiro Vucinas, who has been with us before from the Atlantic Bank, the chief operating officer. Spiro, it's so wonderful to have you here. We love your flower today. Oh, thank you very much. Blue and white, always. Yeah. Well, um, you know, we have to celebrate the event. Yes, we do. Well, this is our uh, third year that we're here. It's a great day. I mean, it's... There are so many Greeks. I didn't know that there are so many Greeks in New York. <laughs> and Rosanna's Greek today, too. I'm honorary Greek. Oh, you're honorary. Oh, very, very. Oh, that's Listen, very nice. Are yeah. you so happy about how many people came to see the parade today? It's like thousands lined up on the sides of Fifth Avenue watching this beautiful parade go by. You must be so proud. Well, I'm very proud. Very emotional to look at this paper. Of course, you're going back to your roots, and I think it's uh, something that uh, as you grow up, you get a stronger bonds. And I saw my grandchildren before, and uh, they were on the float, and I thought it was just so great to look at them. That must be so wonderful to it see is. your grandchildren yeah. participating. Are you keeping the Greek heritage and language oh, alive to. with oh, them? We do, we do. We're in the family, and we try to instill you know, some uh, knowledge, and we take them back to the old country every year. We have a little space there, back into the island. Oh, that's nice. I'm available this summer if you're All right. around. All right. <laughs> so which island are you going to these days? Kefalonia. Kefalonia, which yeah. is a beautiful it's island. A, it's a beautiful island. Where we is have, that? This is on the west part of Greece. It's between Greece and Italy. 
it's green really versus the other uh, uh, Greek island. Is this where your family is from, Spiro? Yeah, that was uh, actually that was how I was born in Kavalina. You were born there, right? Yeah. yeah. And I came here at a very early, early, early age. And what's it like when you think about those early days, the early beginnings, born in California, coming to the United States, and being able to achieve some of the success, but more importantly, being able to demonstrate the pride that you have for your culture, for your family, and for other people, and to be able to give it back on a day like this? Well, I think it's, uh, first of all, uh, uh, the United States made the opportunities available to us, and if you work hard here and you you put your effort into it, then of course the background or whatever it is, you you have a better chance of succeeding here than in another place. I would say this is a great country, and I'm honored to be to have a dual citizenship. I'm Greek, of course, and I have the American citizen, which I love it. And every time I go back to your country, you know, it brings me back. But you so also I, give back to this country big time. You're very, very generous. Well, the country has been good to us. I mean, I would say that I will not, uh, to any extent, I live. Uh, I, every time I come to work and I look at it, I said to myself, I'm, I'm very, very thankful and uh, appreciate what I have done, uh, have, uh, what I, the a community has done by itself. It's uh, especially the second generation, and of course we have to pay a lot of attention to our parents, our grandparents, that they work very hard to, to get us what we are and make the life a little bit much easier for ourselves. We we get a little spoiled. Well, that's all right. I think we deserve it. We work very hard yes, for that. Yes, we have. Yeah. Spiro Vucinas, we thank you so much. Thank as you we very say, much. Nice Christos Anesti, you're still Christos celebrating Anesti, Easter. Whatever. Thank you very much. From the Atlantic Joe. Bank. Okay. You're doing <laughs> thank quite you well, very you guys. Much. <laughs> thank you yes, so thank much. You. Giovanna Dierpik, hello. How are you right now? Guys, you know, to really get a feel for this parade, you have to be part of it. Okay, so I was marching, but I'm like, why not jump on a float, you know? So I found this float, found this guy who's 100% Greek, I think? 100%, 100% Greek. Okay, can't make a mistake there. Talk to me about being Greek and being a part of this parade. Well, I mean, this is this is everything right here. I mean, this is uh, what it's all about being Greek. I mean, you know, the heritage, the tradition, the family. I mean, uh, you know, all the companies and everyone putting together such a great show and a uh, great opportunity to be with everyone. And how did you pull some strings? Because you get to ride along the route instead of walking the route. Well, we waited a long time, so we deserve to uh, to take a ride as opposed to uh, walking behind the float. But, uh, you know, we knew somebody, that's for sure. <laughs> there you go. So talk to me about having your friends and family here. Yeah, this is great. I mean, we, it's a good time to show. As you see, we're very diversified. We brought everyone from the company, and, uh, you know, here we are. Okay, and then talk to me about from this perspective, what it's like, give the viewers a sense. Oh wow, this is amazing. I mean, you know, just to be on here and look at all the people and the support they're giving us, whether they're Greek or not, I mean, uh, this, this is truly amazing. Goosebumps all over. <laughs> it truly is amazing. Okay, I've got the pageant wave down, but you are here at the New York City Greek Independence Day Parade. Enjoy. Hi, I'm John Aniston. I wish I could be with you all today on Fifth Avenue celebrating Greek Independence Day. I'm here in Los Angeles taping on the Days of Our Lives set, but I did want to wish everyone well at the parade, and I hope that you're all enjoying the parade today, and I wish you all a happy Greek Independence Day. Yachara. And we thank John Aniston. What a great actor. And, Absolutely. Uh, and know. his lovely daughter, Jennifer. Yeah, wonderful family celebrating today Greek Independence Day here in New York City. We are live. Ernie Anastas with Rosanna Scotto. I'm just wondering, do you know the every Greek American that's I think coming so. up Fifth I Avenue? I think we're one little club. You know, speaking of little things, Hey, we've got some special guests. I Rosanna. know these little babies since they were just. Yeah. yeah. We're going to tell everybody Nick who Gregory's you are. Gregory's lovely daughter. Tell, tell everybody who you are. Eliana. Anna? I'm Anastasia. Anastasia? I'm Vasiliki. Vasiliki. You know what? You guys look wonderful today. Tell us how you feel. Uh, we feel proud to be Greek and happy too. Does your daddy pass that along to you and your mom? What? Your mom and dad, do they tell you how proud they are? Yeah. They want you to feel the same way? Yeah. What's the one thing your father, Nick Gregory, has told you that's important? Um, to be proud to be Greek and uh, to always carry on the tradition. That's Very right. Good. Do you speak any Greek? Yeah. What do you tell us something? Yasu, which yes, means I don't even know Yasu. Yes, Give one. me something I don't know. Um, Tikanis, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you say anything for us really sweet? Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you say Kronia Pola to everybody? 
Pronya Pola. I'll say it. Pronya it together. Pola. Oh, yeah. Well, we're How's broadcasting that? live today. We're so happy to have the Gregory family with us. We have a lot to show you. We've had many of the floats going by, Roseanne. In fact, uh, just a short time ago before we went back yeah, on the air. Yeah, who are those people from well, Bridgeport? They're from Bridgeport, Connecticut, from yeah. the Holy Trinity in Bridgeport. And that was Father Demetrius Rakachinas. Oh. And my Aunt Eva, that was Van your, That was your Aunt Eva? That was Aunt Eva. Who came by? Yeah, she was How waving to you, Rosanna. Eva, because she, she was running. Great. She was going She's, up to them. How old is she? She's, She's great. She looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Asking me how old she is. I'm going to get one of those wax across Stop the head. Stop stepping on my toe. Oh, my God. But anyway, we were, I got it. We were you know, today to is a them. family affair. Yes, You know, is. whether you're celebrating with your own family or whether you're adopted for the day like I am. That's right. And, you enjoy you know, this. Earlier, we also saw uh, Katrina Triandafilu, who was the Miss Greek Independence for today, this year's Greek Independence girl, and she is just beautiful. We were so happy to see her smiling face. Also, some of the marching bands and some of the floats coming by, uh, St. Demetrius of Merrick, Long Island, and that's Father Fakinos. Oh. Yes. And uh, also the Tappan Zee Bridgman Brass Band, one of the area's premier marching bands. We were listening to them. Pan Arcarian Brotherhood of America has been also part of this parade, and also the Adelphi University Hellenic Society. Yes, I saw them pass by before. Yeah, they're one of the first institutions of higher learning in Long Island, uh, founded back in 1896. I think it's wonderful to get these young people involved. You know, young people can be a little laid back, a little lazy sometimes, but they're so happy and energetic to be here today. Don't they you? have to be. <laughs> well, because what happens no, if I'm they don't? Kidding. What do the families do if they don't want to you participate? You got to go to the parade. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what your, your mom and dad said? Did your uh, mom and dad say you have to come to the parade today, uh, little yeah. Gregory's? Yes or no? But you wanted to be here, right? I, I, They've been here all the time. You know, every year that we've been here, I've seen these little Gregory girls. Yes, they have been. They've always been here. You know who Nick is with now, your dad? He's with John and Margot Katsumati. These are very special guests and the parade chairman. So let's go right to your dad right now. Nico, you've got right. your family I, here. I, I see that. I'm, I'm glad they made me proud. Girls, <laughs> girls, we got to work on the Greek words, though, OK? <laughs> Remember. Saturday morning Greek school, uh -oh. 9 to 1. You gotta go to Greek school. And if you think you're skipping now, you're done for the rest of the year. Daddy ladies. was listening. All right. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks for having the girls up there. And uh, again, we have John and, uh, and Margo with us. And uh, uh, I know Margo, uh, uh, this is a you know, great. Uh, uh, for all of us to be out here in our Greek American heritage, what have you, but also again, uh, there's other things I know that you get involved in. Let's talk a little bit about some of those, about the scholarship. Well, it's an amazing day, and it's so wonderful to have everyone come together. And we have our Hellenic Times Scholarship Fund float, which is always a wonderful thing. And we have uh, current and previous uh, awardees on there. And we have the big event May 16th, and uh, we're giving scholarships to some of the brightest kids from all over the America. And we hope everybody comes, and we're honoring. Kat Cora and Calamira will be one of our guest artists. So we're so excited and hope you come again. Well, that's a great event. Uh, I've been so uh, uh, honored to be a part of that for so many years. And uh, definitely, you know, we, we, we hope for a great turnout to come onto the event. Uh, what do you think of the parade so far? I mean, this may be one of the largest ever. I, I absolutely, everybody is out today. And, it, and it's so nice to see so many people you know and you don't know. And, and they're so proud of their Greek heritage. So it's wonderful. Well, that's great. It's, you know, thanks to uh, to you and to John, of course, for uh, for being such a big uh, a big effort in this parade and putting it forward. And so we really do appreciate your efforts. And uh, we've got more coming from Fifth Avenue. So you stick around. The Greek Independence Day parade continues after we come right back. Hi, I'm Pete Sampras, and I'm proud to be part of the Greek Independence Day celebration here in New York City. During my tennis career, wherever I played anywhere in the world, Melbourne. Wimbledon, here in New York City, always felt the support of the Greek community and always felt proud of my Greek heritage. Growing up in my house, I learned the importance of working hard and the importance of family from a very early age. So on that note, congratulations to everyone and happy Greek Independence Day. Rosanna, we can say Yasu. Yasu. Kronia Pola. Kronia Pola. Keto Krono. Keto Krono. Keto Krono. Which means let's do it again next year. I like it. You like that? I like it. Hey, Ernie, we're looking at St. Barbara's flirt, float there from uh, Orange 
Connecticut. Yes, Orange, Connecticut. Uh, this was a, a wonderful parish. I've been there. They founded this church back in 1919. And, uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's a community, of course, that has a lot of pride. And we've been talking about that today with so many of our guests. And so many of these young people also uh, respect their elderly, Rosanna. We've talked about how important it is to understand your roots. But also, in, in Greek, we talk about our yaya and our papu. That's right. Grandmother and grandfather. And we, we learn from our seniors. We learn their wisdom, the love of family. And, you know, aging is something that's really all that uh, not attractive, I should say, in many ways, because we push youth in our society. But I think it's important to rekindle and appreciate our, our seniors and also our grandparents and the heritage that goes with it. It's very important because sometimes our culture uh, kind of pushes aside old people. Uh, but, you know, I love that the, the roots, the, the culture, the, the, the ethnic groups, they respect their grandparents. They know that they have a lot of wisdom and they have a lot to share about the traditions and the respect that goes along with that. And, you know, we are seeing uh, the various floats. There have been 46 of them today. But, you know, there's also more to just the float because the Greeks are extremely proud of their heritage and their contributions to Western society. Uh, we talk about democracy and how it's affected uh, our country and our own government philosophy, all of the ancient uh, Greek philosophers, Socrates and Aristotle, Plato, uh, some of the best known. Uh, in the field of medicine and also in sports. The Greeks always think about the Olympics, the first civilization to incorporate sports and make it a tradition. Uh, there's a lot to that, and I think that uh, along with the music and the food and all of the excitement and the celebration that we talk about, there is also that rich heritage. And what's wonderful appreciate. is that we're really seeing people from all over the area, tri-state, but even beyond. I mean, we had people from Philadelphia today, and then we have the United, it, tell me if I'm wrong, how do you say from it? Chios. How do you say that? Chios, which is like an H, it's C-H-I-O-S, okay, but it's Societies pronounced Societies of America and Canada, yes. right? Chios is a beautiful island, I've been there, it's not very far from Samos. Uh, and there are a lot of Greeks that are living in, in, in Hios from, from New York. Uh, they've, they've left Hios, come back to New York, to Astoria, and have gone back to Hios. It's a beautiful island. And look, we also see, see St. Petro, and Petro yes. the Apostle Petros of Riverdale. Peter, that's St. Peter. Yes. The Apostle uh, of Riverdale in the Bronx. Father uh, John uh, Spilio is also there. Beautiful. We have been uh, watching the uh, also the float from the Club One. That's a uh, nightclub in Astoria, uh, really? featuring all kinds of you music. You never took me there. I'm going to take you there very soon. Because I, I can do a few Greek moves. You know what? We did go to a Greek we club did. once. We, we had Gregory yes. and a group of people from Fox. We did. We had a good time. We were up very late that night. You did night. a nice time ago. I have to tell you <laughs> that. That was a good dance for you. Was that the sailor dance? Is that the one that you taught uh, me? That's very similar, yeah, the in some ways. The sailor dance, right? That's right. Uh, also, we want to salute the uh, Archangel Michael Church, uh, Father Dennis Struzas from Roslyn Heights, uh, for also being part of our parade today. First Central Savings Bank and the Salesian High School Band. We, we have just had so many groups pass by, Rosanna, and they're all waving at us with yes. great enthusiasm. It's infectious, actually. It is. Uh, California. That was uh, what uh, Mr. Vatsunas uh, was Sito. talking to us about. That's that's where he has his home, and that's where he came from. Oh. Uh, Kefalonia uh, has a Brotherhood of New York organization. They are the largest, by the way, the, the, of the Ionian Islands in Western Greece, about 350 square miles. But uh, this is a, a great uh, celebration that they had for us today, and uh, we're thankful that they were part of our Greek Independence Day Parade 2009. Now, Ernie, I know that this is being broadcast on my nine until four o'clock today. Yes. But will the parade continue? Well, I think it will. We're going to take a break right now. Roseanne and I will be back with the Greek Parade right after this. Yasu! Opa! <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Nia Vardalis and I'd like to wish you a happy Greek Independence Day. This is a day very important to me because I am a happy Greek and I am independent. What are you doing June 5th? June 5th, what are you doing? I'm just wondering. <laughs> no, I'm not asking you out, <laughs> unless you're single. Um, there's a movie, it's called My Life in Ruins and it's a movie that um, I play a Greek tour guide in, in Greece, we shot it in Greece and um, it's opening on June 5th. And once again we are a little, little movie going up against big, big movies. So what I would like is maybe for you to go to the movie on June 5th. If you could maybe not wait till June 6th, that would be fantastic. And you know what? With this economy, a lot of us can't afford a trip to Greece this year. And this movie is about 10 bucks, and you will feel like you went to Greece. So, what's it called? My Life in Ruins. When does it open? 
June 5th. That's right, June 5th. If you could go June 5th, I'd be super, super happy. I might just drive by all the Greek houses in America on June 5th that night and just be like, what are you doing home? Go to the movie. June 5th, my life in ruins. Happy Greek Independence Day. Back we are with live coverage, Rosanna. I can't believe it. Time flies when you're having fun, Ernie. We have been having fun today. We've been eating, we've been dancing, we've been uh, singing along with Tony Orlando. We want to recognize uh, some of the floats. Uh, there are so many of them, 46 of them. The uh, Metropolitan uh, Cathedral of St. John the Theologian, we thank you for being here. This is the Greek Orthodox Church of St. Padiskevi, the Mykonos Club, Zorodospihi of the Bronx, and St. Nicholas of Flushing, New York. We thank you for being part of this beautiful parade today. You know what? I think the parade gets bigger and better and more fun every year. I think so. I, I think that, you know, certainly the weather helped us today. Yes. We were concerned. Because if you remember last year, we had to cancel the parade because of the weather. Right. Reschedule it. And we rescheduled yeah. it. Yeah. But now we're here, and uh, everybody's sort of very comfortable and sort of feel like you're on a Greek island that's so warm and I, pretty, I love isn't it? it. I need the, what is it, the ouzo? <laughs> a little ouzo. I you like that, Ometaxa? Yeah, I'll take oh, some of that. Oh, you're familiar with that ouzo, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and I, yes, want, I want a little Greek salad just about now, too. Oh, oh man. man. Nothing like that fresh tomatoes and cucumbers and feta cheese. Well, all that great food, you know, Where and being able to travel. This? Well, you know, what we wanted to do is uh, we're going to probably go out to a, a, a Greek restaurant someplace and celebrate. We can't mention even one of them because if we mention one Greek restaurant, oh, we'll be in so much we're going to have to mention all of them. Yes. And, and that's something that we don't want to get into. But anyhow, we have been uh, very, very pleased to bring about the entertainment for today. Constantine was part of our broadcast. You can listen to his Tony interview. Tony Orlando. Orlando. I love him. How happy and proud was Tony Orlando. Very much so. Yeah. I think that I think that it was very special for him, and he talked about his grandfather and how he would be watching over him right now and mm -hmm. being part of this celebration. We want to mention uh, some of the other uh, floats that are here uh, from St. John in Tenafly, New Jersey, the uh, Metropolitan Cathedral there. It's a beautiful church. They built that in 1969. Wow. Also, the Yale Hellenic Society has been part of this. Uh, the, the, the primary purpose of the society, by the way, is to bring together members of the Yale community who are Greek or of Greek descent, and also the World Journalism Preparatory High School Greek Club. Uh, they're in New York City, and uh, they're located in Flushing, New York, mm -hmm. and the Greek Orthodox Church of uh, Clifton, New Jersey. How about St. Paul of Hempstead, um, the association? Yes, uh, that's a very pretty church, Rosanna. You're, you're familiar with Long Island, because yes. I know that you also have yes. a home out there with your family. And I'm familiar with Hempstead, Long Island, where they're yes. from. And also the Hellenic Student Association of University of Connecticut, in Stores, Connecticut, have been part of this. And you know, some of the kids from Drexel University, located in Philadelphia, are here as well, uh, celebrating their Greek pride today. We listened to uh, Archbishop Demetrius today, who was uh, also in our broadcast booth, as he talked about ecumenism and how important it is for us to, to all understand each other and to share in, in understanding that we are all part of the family of man. And he talked about being positive, having faith that things will get better. And that's really important uh, during these times right now. Well, I think it is important. I think as we, uh, as broadcasters and as news people, we, we bring all of these different stories on the air, and we know that everybody needs a little special prayer, a little special word of hope and inspiration. Absolutely. Let's go to Giovanna Deerpick right now with her final thoughts on this wonderful parade. Giovanna. We have had such a fabulous time out here. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun Isn't up on that float. <laughs> yeah, and you know what I noticed the most? People are so warm and welcoming. I've learned so much about the culture, about the history, the islands you were telling me. And a couple me. of Greek words. A couple of Greek the, words. The as clean well. words. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And I knew that I would fit into this group because the last names are as difficult as mine. You guys have all the vowels, I have all the consonants. Well, you know what, what, what's nice about today is whether you're Greek or whether you're uh, Hispanic or whether you're what, you know, whatever that makes up all of what New York is so great about, uh, you, you get to share in another culture, like we, like everyone likes to share in all the cultures that are part of New York. Uh, for me, being here is, is, is special because I've marched to this parade from the age of seven. So it's great to be a part of it again and see the costumes. I, I, I was at a performing a folk dance group for 20 years. 
Uh, so I wore the skirt. So he has a few <laughs> I, good moves. Well, you know, that's how I met my wife. You know, women like to see guys in skirts and tights. At least that's what she told me. So that's so, the trick. That's, that's the a trick. secret. Exactly. So, uh, but it's really, it's really been a wonderful day. And, uh, you know, after to go out maybe and celebrate, like Ernie and Rosanna were saying, you know, we're, we're going to only hold them to one uzo, though. I've, I've you know, gone out with them, and they're, they're cut off after one uzo. That's it. Is that right? Well, I think I want Greek salad, and I don't know what else. You guys are going to treat me to some great food, right? All right, absolutely. Ernie and Rosanna, okay. we've had a wonderful time. Great to see you guys. Yes, Nico, we're and enjoy all the rest of the day. Thank you so much. Nick, what's up? Here we go. Hello. Where are you? We need you to lead us. You know, Nick is a fabulous dancer. I know. At least he tells us that. He's great. He's a folk dancer, right? But the dancing. The food, the music, and all of the things that we have been celebrating today, you know, it's just been a very special day. And I know this is the third year for the two of us. Uh, we're going to come back and do it again next year. I would love to. And I just thank you so much. It is a privilege to be here and share this beautiful day and this wonderful culture with you. Well, you know, when we talk about so many things, uh, friendship is so important and family. And I think that you're seeing a lot of that here today. People are just celebrating with their families, but also all of the friends that are waving to yes. us. And I can hear them say, hi, <laughs> Hi, Ernie. Hi, Ernie. We've got a lot of Ernie fan club here today. Yeah, we want to thank John Katsimatidis, who's on the sidelines right now. You can't see him. And his the beautiful chairman, wife, Margo. Margo, and all of the wonderful sponsors that have been part of this broadcast who make this possible. So we certainly hope you'll be joining us again. We want to wish you all good things. As you know, we say Christos Anesti, because this is still part of Happy Easter. Happy Easter, right. Uh, which means Christ has risen, and uh, you've been hearing that all day today. And the Chronia Pola, which means many years yes, to F you. Yes, Efkaristo. Efkaristo. Okay, am I getting better? Right. And Should I t tell them some of the other words you no, told me? No, don't tell them that, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get in trouble here. It was going so well until we started talking about the oh, Greek words. Oh, I know. We thank you very much for watching us. Uh, happy Greek Independence Day to all of you. Rosanna? Uh, tomorrow, good day, New York, 7 to 9 on Channel 5. There you are. And all the viewers here on My 9, our sister station, we thank you very much for being part of the broadcast. Right now, we're going to go back to Keller Mirror. Wasn't she a wonderful Beautiful. performer? Beautiful. Take it away. Take it away. See you later. Bye.